Right guys, I've moved on a bit since um, <coughs> since the last video. Um, I've stuck the I've stuck the insides to it and made all my stitching holes. And now I'm going to start start the stitching. Um, I haven't got myself a thingy yet. Uh, what do they call it? A stitching pony. Um, what I'm going to probably do is um, I might make one. I don't know yet. I'm still trying to move that light so it's a bit, a bit better for you. There you can see. Right. Um, length of the cord. Uh, of the thread all I've done is I've gone round the whole thing gone, measured it all the way round and then made um, made it four four times the length plus a, a little bit extra just to be on the safe side so let's get to work on this I'll put them through and then give them a tug to make sure they're nice and tight. Might have to just turn this music down a little bit. I don't want YouTube getting upset. Now it's not. It's not exactly saddle stitch because I'm putting it into a groove, um, but it's it's close enough. problem you have with like saddle stitching is um, the length of the cord your thread I keep calling it cord I don't know why um, and also remembering which side to come from otherwise it'll not it doesn't look the same so I'm always going in from my right hand side which would be your left hand side So, I'll just come in a little bit closer and just show you, show you this. 
So, that, as I've got it, that's how I'm held, holding it in between my knees. My right hand, putting my needle in, pulling it through. Now, when you put your left hand needle in, hopefully on the, I'm using my video camera this time, hopefully you'll be able to see this better. So, let me just get this right. Right, so, that's where it, my right hand needles come through. So what you have to do is you have to make sure that your needle goes in on top of that that thread, and then when it drop my needle there, and when it comes out on on this other side here, you need to make sure it's on top of this thread. Always a bit. A bit tight. I haven't got around to being able to work with me all in the same hand at the same time. He says, because I'm sat there doing it. And also, I don't want to pull it too hard. And snap it. It is pretty strong thread, but... So effectively what's happening is every time you pass your right hand needle through, the next time you go, the next stitch you start, you're using the opposite needle. It's, it can get confusing. And that's also something you have to be careful of with. 
long thread. Is it getting wrapped up and then knotted? Ooh, it's the party bus. So, try and get that. That's a bit hard to see. So that's me stitching. can be laborious and sometimes it isn't it you know it just depends how big the thing is anyway <coughs> excuse me if you don't want to watch me let me sew the rest of this hit the big red button now Right, how many of you press that big red button? Right, I'm all the way around now. I'm back at the uh, back at where I started. So now I need to just lock lock this stitching off. And what you have to be careful of there is that you don't go, you don't whip through the the previous thread. And pull that nice and tight. Finally, I'll just make one more hole and bring my left hand, my left hand needle from the front to the back. <coughs> Pardon me, show some Dr. Pepper. Oh, Dr. Gut Rot. 
as I used to call it. Right, now I've got this, both threads on the back, I'm just going to tie a simple overhand knot. I'm going to trim them off. But it ends that I'm in the now. Right, I haven't. As you can see, I haven't trimmed them all the way right down. Because what I'll do is get the EDC lighter out. Just trim them down that way. There's still a little bit of a bump there, but once I go over that, just to sort the, the stitching out, it'll be fine. So now I'm just going to rub over it, over the stitching, to make sure it's all flushing in the Now that's done, it's a case of looking for edges that aren't quite, aren't quite flush. Like that one, that one's not quite flush. So now what I'll do is I shall just literally take a gnat's whisker off that. use me sanding block to make sure that they're both uh, level and just start sanding and what I will do with this I'll just tilt it a little bit more so it's just a bit more over that when end Sorry guys, keep forgetting. So they feel pretty much flush now. So 
Hoodle that a bit. Hope it feels okay. That bit that might be a little bit on the outside, so. Feels to be a little bit on that end. Right, now obviously I'm going to have to dye those bits up again. Which I'll do shortly. Notice that well, you might not know, you might not be able to tell, but it does lose a bit of its pattern and um, colour on there, and that's just because of the flex in here. That's just because from the flex of the um, of the leather. Get the pig skin in there. That stitching. Maybe I should have come right to the edge with the pig skin then. Right. Catch you a bit when I've done done these bits and um, I might burnish the edges as well get that out of the way right too shortly right I've been round and um, touched up the edges so now I'm just going to dampen them down a bit so that I can uh, Burnish the edges. Use me, me bit of wood one that I made, because this is bigger than my plastic one that I've got. And you're just making rubbing it across to make some heat and some friction. Like that, that's nice. I think you can just see that, it looks very shiny where I've been doing it compared to the other one. So now do this one. Part four is uploading now. And it's got 94 minutes to go. So that tells you how fast my internet connection is at the minute. Oops. Next 
last one to do. Dump a bit of water on it. Now, I'll try and get this so you can see. You see how it's all, pardon me, a bit dull along this edge. Well, you know when you've got a good burnish, apparently, but it goes shiny. So. Hopefully this will be shiny when I'm done. See how it's, it's all shiny now. And also the really good bits. I don't think you'll be able to pick it up. Let's just see if I zoom in a bit, you might be able to get it. No, it's not going to focus now, I bet. Focus. No, it won't focus. Let me come back out of touch. So, the next thing to do on this is um, stick some resoline on it, that'll give it its shine, and maybe do a bit more burnishing, but that's my um, disc flashing now saying I've not got much space left, so I shall catch you um, shortly when I've done the, the resoline and it's all finished.